what do I see here? Here I see a young man, unexperienced perhaps, and with an unsteady hand, but more importantly, with an unbridled and unadulterated and untainted sense of exploratory and curious creativity. Would you agree? Yeah, here I have a drawing that my mom sent me a picture of. Well, she took a picture with her phone of a drawing and sent it to me and I printed it out in black and white. And this is from when I was six years old. In fact, it's five days before my seventh birthday. And uh, as you can see here, it's like a, some sort of RV trailer thing. It's got windows, a jet that comes along with it. And there's a couple little people down here. They're very cute. So today we're going to recreate this. I'm going to redraw it. It's been 23 years since I drew this, give or take. And uh, we'll see what changes or what has changed. Me, the world, I don't know. It's throwback Saturday. I think it's very interesting as I, obviously I'm recording this part of the commentary now after I finish the final product, which some of you have seen already if you've looked on Instagram. Um, but there are some very interesting things that have and haven't changed in the last 23 years since I drew the first version of this um, and the second version. Also, what would you call this? I, I think it's some sort of like RV camper. Like there's a part that pulls it and a part that drags behind. Like a, But they seem to go together also. Like they seem to be designed to, to go together. Like the, the front part reminds me of like a those flat-nosed 18-wheeler like semi-trailer. What are they called? Uh, but... Like, I know there's, a, like, a lot of RVs you can get that are designed to be pulled. Like, what do you call them? Campers? Camper trailer RV? I don't know. All the, there's, like, so many words. Anyways, I'll stop bumbling ab around about that now. What I wanted to say is there's some things that have changed. First of all, I specifically tried to keep the design of it pretty much the same as far as window placement. Okay, there's the exact same number of windows uh, in the second design. It's pretty much the same shape. There's the same number... Uh, of antennas, same number of wheels, same number of doors, uh, stuff like that, right? I added, you know, the same spaceship with the same same number of, uh, you know, like, little booster rockets and space, uh, like, turret guns and uh, little cables holding it down. One, of, I think one of the major differences that I noticed after I I was done was that there's, like, a support holding up the platform for the rocket ship on top. And that, like, support isn't nearly in, as big in my second version. Uh, but it's okay. It's all right. Some things, some things change and some things don't, right? It is very interesting to think about what the inside of this vehicle, this moving monstrosity, would be like. Uh, I imagine there's lots of stairs, maybe. Maybe little tiny elevators. Maybe little chutes you can get in like uh pneumatic shoots like in the you know how the bank have you ever been through like a drive through at the bank and they have those pneumatic tubes you can hop in i mean wait no at the bank you can't hop in them you put your paperwork in them but maybe in this thing you can hop in them and it shoots you up you know like 20 feet up to the top i feel like that is maybe one of the more you know like space economical ways to deal with moving up and down quickly but also you have to compress all that air, which would be difficult. Maybe it's not, maybe there would just be a lot of spiral stair, staircases or ladders or rope ladders or, uh, it would be cool if there was a fireman's pull. But if there was a fireman's pull going all the way from the top to the bottom, I think by the time you got to the bottom, you would be going very, very fast. And you would either break your legs or get pole burns at the bottom. Uh, but one thing, one thing that has stayed the same, by no intention of my own, but probably by the sen by the fact that I haven't taken like a lot of uh, like drawing classes, right? I've stayed very. I don't want to say that I've stayed very casual about my drawing, but I've never really gone out of my way to achieve like some insane degree of 
realism or photorealism in my drawing is that both of these drawings are very flat, right? They're very two dimensional. I mean, there is now some slight degree of another dimension added in, in my second drawing here. Like you'll see when I add the clouds, like the smoke clouds coming out, I add a little bit of shading on those. And I, I kind of, kind of have worked into the habit of adding some shading to the basic shapes that I add, but like there's no, there are no vanishing points, right? There's, there's no, not really any horizon or anything. It's really, you could just, you could make a paper cutout of this and nothing would really change. Um, I feel like if my art were to take a huge, like a huge deviation, if my art were to change um, drastically in the near future, it would be me figuring out how to work things like perspective and vanishing points, you know, stuff like that into my art and uh, working into my current style. You know what I mean? Because imagine if I drew something like this and I was comfortable with doing things like perspective. I mean, I know the basics of perspective um, just over the years of drawing and being alive and stuff. It's just when I just sit down and I want to be comfortable with drawing, I just want to doodle away, you know, mindlessly because art is a very kind of sm smooth, like therapeutic. I don't want to worry about stuff. When it, when it comes to things like perspective, I start to worry and stress out about it a little bit. Like I have to think about it. Um, so I guess it's kind of comes from a, a, thing, a little bit of perspective, how much, I don't know if I want to say how much work I want to put in it. Cause I put a lot of work into this, this, this drawing took like 15 hours or something. Uh, but you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone, but I think it, I, I do think it could be cool for me to learn and become comfortable with perspective and vanishing points to the point where I could work it into my drawings. Another thing would be, which I've kind of been working on and off with over the past few years to with mixed success and mixed amounts of uh, dedication to it is things like figure drawing, you know, learn to draw people better. Uh, if I could work that into my drawing, I think that would be another huge angle because there's not a lot of people in my drawings. And when I do draw people, I kind of intentionally draw them uh, with terrible, awful proportions. I kind of run away from the people looking like they're supposed to. You know, I draw like my weird bulbous people and stuff, and I'm really happy about that. I like how those turn out. Those serve me a, a totally different purpose than uh, drawing them one way or another. But it, all, all sorts of things can serve different purposes, I like draw, being able to draw them like actual people. I don't really know what I'm saying anymore, but I will say this. I'm happy with how it turned out. As you can see, I copied the stick people over exactly how they were in the original drawing as a little bit of like a little nod to six-year-old Peter. Like, hey, six-year-old Peter, it's cool. I respect your art. Everything's okay. You're doing great. I wonder what he'd think if he saw, saw this version of it now. I hope he'd be proud of me. <laughs> and like, I never thought it's, it's like, just like, just like, just then when I never thought to the future, like, I wonder what I'll draw in 23 years. It's really impossible for me to think 23 more years into the future. What, what sort of art I'll care about, what I'll care about in general, what I'll try to be doing, what my passions will be, what I'll do in the next 23 years, what I'll be spending my time on, you know, but here I'm speaking now to, to future Peter. If you're out there somewhere, if you come back and listen to this video, it's okay. You're doing great. Whatever you decided to do, I support you. Okay. You know, take a little, take some breaks sometimes. Nothing matters too much. You'll be okay. It'll be fine. I'm proud of you, whatever you do. Okay. Thank you for being me, I guess. If that's weird to say, I don't know. It's weird being yourself, isn't it? It's the only person you get to be, but sometimes it's really frustrating, but it's okay. All right. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching everyone. Okay. Uh, if you have any other ideas of things I should redraw, I have a lot more of my childhood drawings, which I meant to show you in this video, but I forgot to put them in there. I'll show you more in the future. Uh, this was really fun for me. So I'll, this definitely is a thing I can think, I, I think, I think I could do again. I'll get them, I'll get my mom. I think I have an old sketchbook of mine and I can get my mom to give me some more, uh, 
and maybe I can draw, redraw some other stuff kind of in this sort of style, right? Where I redo it. Uh, let me know what you think. All right. All right. Goodbye, everyone.